Okay, my name is Adam Sakrayanan. I'm a fifth year student. Currently, I'm working with Dr. Shabnam Iyani. So, my interest basically lies in astrophysics and gravitational wave physics. Hello, so uh, I'm Jacob Sarisa. I'm also a fifth year BSMS physics major, the same batch as Adam. And currently, I'm working with Dr. Stanamai Mondal on uh, beyond the standard model particle physics phenomenology. But I'm also interested in gravitational wave instrumentation, uh, which is why I did those internships for the two years. Okay. So, uh, I would say that, like, because last time both of us did our internships in the US, so okay. one of the most difficult thing was to actually acquire the visa. So, that was not an easy task and that took a, a lot of the time. So, that, that was one major challenge. But as coming to the internship, I would say that, so, uh, just to introduce what we did, both of us worked with this LIGO lab team. So that was basically on gravitational wave detection. So the, all the courses that I took here was mostly aligned mostly to the theoretical side of things. So I took uh, particle physics and quantum field theory one and things which allowed me to do something in beyond the standard model of physics and phenomenology. So when I did an internship there, I actually had to go through a lot of topics which I like did not learn here. For example, uh, quantum optics or non-linear optics. So I had to spend a good amount of time, especially in my first phase of the internship, to actually get a good idea of what I would be working on. I had some uh, laboratory experience, but to actually understand the theoretical side of things, I had to do that. So that was one of the uh, challenging things I would say that I had to face when I started this internship. Yeah. To me, it was like a, a, I had previously never done something related to gravitational physics. So to me, this gravitational wave physics internship was completely new to me. So I had to learn a bunch of old new stuff from the beginning, from the scratch. So the initial part of the internship was a bit tough for me. So because I had to learn the theory as well as the experiment, some of the experimental part. But also, even though my project was related to gravitational physics, most of the stuff was related to large language models and building things like that. So I had to learn some of this, oh, what all this, how to build a large language model and how one to work with this kind of large language models and stuff like that. So that oh, was a bit challenging for me. So, but initially we had a lot of help. People were ready to help with us. So that was it. Yeah, yeah so um, I would say that like both of us are very big fans of the show, The Big Bang Theory. And I, I think you must have also watched that. So yeah. Yeah. the main student focus in that show was the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. So to actually be there in that place, which uh, like I was introduced to when I used to watch that show. And it, it was, I think, whoever has, whoever, whoever watched that show has this dream of being there. So actually getting to that place in, in person and actually seeing those things was actually a very good rewarding experience in itself, even though it was just for a matter of months to actually be there. It was a very good thing. And uh, talking about the internships, I was able to work with uh, the lead experimentalist of the LIGO lab, uh, Professor Rana Adhigari, and also with a senior scientist in LIGO lab, Dr. Koji Arai. So, like, being able to work with them in person, like, understanding the way that they are thinking and involving in con to discuss, like, day-to-day -day social stuff with all the other students who uh, come to this internships from different parts of the world. So, everything of, of such things was really amazing for me. To me also, it's the same. So being at MIT itself was a very rewarding experience because I always dreamed of like at least visiting MIT once. So the other important thing was like I was able to sit in the same room and talk with Dr. Professor Rainer West. He's the 2017 Nobel laureate. He won the Nobel Prize for this gravitational wave discovery. So I have read about him. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos about him, but... For the first time, I was able to talk with him, I'll sit in the same room with him and discuss GW with him. So th that was a really re rewarding experience. So to meet people like uh, Professor Rainer Wes or Professor Alan Good, so meeting these people and being at MIT. So that was a really great experience to me. So I think that was the one of the most rewarding part for me.